I wanted to show you a little bit about how you can get things on and off your iPads uh, for students to use the, uh, be able to do the interactive reading logs that you may have read about in my blogs. Now, um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to create some sort of graphic organizer. And you may want to use some of the uh, graphic organizers that I've already created for uh, the Common Core Standards for grades K through 5. Um, here's an example of one of those graphic organizers. Now, I create most of my things in Pages or Keynote. Um, for this particular uh, document, um, I created in Keynote because of the um, wonderful feature of being able to export my these pages as an image file because that's what I need to do. PowerPoint will allow you to do the same thing. Pages does not allow that, and I'm not sure about Word because I don't use it as much anymore, but um, probably would say it wouldn't allow you to do that. Um, but anyway, if you're doing this in PowerPoint or uh, Keynote, it should work basically the same way. Uh, so in Keynote, what you're going to do is you just go to File, Export as an image file and you'll save it as a JPEG or a PNG. I always like to do PNG, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and then you'll just save the pages that you want. Click Next, and then you'll just title it whatever you want to, and export it, and it'll show up on your desktop or wherever you saved it. Now, uh, then what you would do is um, go into Dropbox, uh, put that in Dropbox so that your students would have access to it. If you use Dropbox a lot, is to have a separate account for your class and then have your own personal. This um, Dropbox here is my personal Dropbox account. I could just take this graphic organizer and just, you know, drop it right into my Dropbox um, folder, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want uh, students to have access to my personal file. So I'm going to show you how to upload it to a class Dropbox by just going to dropbox.com and logging in um, for your, your class Dropbox account. So the first thing that I need to do is I want to upload that uh, graphic organizer. Um, it's available in a PNG file. Um, any photo file will work as far as getting it to your iPad so that students can upload it into the, the book creator. So I'm going to click here on upload. I'm going to choose files and I'm just going to go you know where it's located which is on my desktop. Click on the graphic organizer and open it. Um, it will take a few minutes to or seconds to open. Put, click done and there it is. So now students would have um, access to this graphic organizer so that they may download it into their um, on their iPad. All right, so now that we have our handout in Dropbox it's time to um, download it and put it into um, our photo album and then we can use it in any really any app that would allow us to have access to our photos. So um, what I want to do is click on my Dropbox and you'll see that I've already downloaded. Let me go ahead and I'll just click on different handout. If I clicked on the handout that um, that I wanted or wanted the students to have, it's going to download it, which it's already downloaded for you here on the screen. You're going to click on the down arrow and save it to photo library, and it's going to save it. Um, then the students would just click out and go to their book creator app. Um, click on that. They're going to create a new book by clicking on the plus sign. Open up a new book. Because that is a landscape handout, I would use the landscape for the book. But if you had portrait size um, book or handout, then I would use that. Click on landscape. And then, of course, you've got your cover. I'm going to click on this arrow to add a new page to, to add my handout. And click on the plus sign here. Go to Photos, Camera Roll, and then I'm going to click on my picture. And it's going to um, add it right there. 
The cool thing about Book Creator, which I like this one better than most book apps um, as far as for what I'm using it for with the interactive um, reading logs, is that I can layer um, things on top of one another. Uh, so I can add pictures uh, from my photo library from my camera roll and it would just lay right on top of this picture just like that. I can add text. So I could say this is scene number one from my story and I can put it right there and I can size you know my picture however I want. I can make my font bigger by going to the I right here and it gives me all of these options where I can bold and I can change fonts and things like that. Um, I can also add uh, sound so I can record my voice um, by clicking on that and it would record. Now I'm um, recording right now and you can't see me record because when I do that it goes away but click on say yes that I wanted to have that recording and now I can move that anywhere I wanted um, and can play it back and you can hear it. I can also add photos and um, cameras and uh, take pictures right from the app or add video right from the app if I wanted to. I can also go to my photos and you'll see here, let me just go up a little bit, you'll notice that there are videos that I can add to this so it gives me that option of adding videos. So it's got lots of um, features that are really nice. Also it lets you hyperlink things so if I click on that picture um, it gives me the option of hyperlinking. Um, so lots of great great tools that I can use and when I share this when I'm finished with my reading log. I can actually open it in Google Drive, I can open it in other book apps, Nook, iBooks, um, I can make an app out of it. I can do so many things with this that it's just unbelievable. So if you have access to iPads, even just one, I would encourage you to um, try this interactive a reading log with your students. Even if you guys did it together as a class, um, I definitely could see um, it being a really good um, just way of getting visual literacy out to your students through pictures, video, recording, so that students have a voice. Um, it's not, you know, when we do our reading log, reading logs now, it's all about the writing, which is great. And we want students to write and know how to write. I'm definitely not saying that students shouldn't write. Um, but sometimes uh, it's, it's so much better and so much more powerful to understand where students are coming from and what their thinking is about text when they're able to um, share it in different ways. So that's a little overview of how to um, add all of the uh, things that you're going to create in uh, for your interactive reading logs. Hope you um, enjoyed the video.